Okay, spoiler alert. Are you ready? Some foods are better for you than other foods. I know, it's a shocker. The lack of nutrition in many foods around the world is leading to vitamin deficiencies and starvation, even when there's plenty of food available. But now, science is working to take care of that. Some innovators are tackling the hidden hunger. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. You would think farm crops grown naturally in the ground would be nutritionally rich in vitamins and minerals, but that isn't always the case. To fight the problem, scientists started from scratch nearly 25 years ago to develop and breed seeds that would grow what are known today as biofortified crops. Biofortified crops are crops that can fortify themselves, and it's done through traditional plant breeding to select crops that can accumulate more of the micronutrients that we want to see improved in the diets of the poor. I traveled to Ithaca, New York to visit the test fields and labs at Cornell University where researchers work with an organization called Harvest Plus to reduce hidden hunger through a process called biofortification. What is hidden hunger? You know, Adam, there are two billion people in this world who get enough to eat, but they don't get the nutrients they need for their body's development. They might get enough calories, but they don't get the nutrients such as vitamin A, zinc, and iron. And how does Harvest Plus hope to fight that? So Harvest Plus is working with the crops that people eat every day, breeding in micronutrients into them so that farmers can grow and eat and solve the problem themselves. Biofortification of staple crops, such as maize, wheat, and rice, is done using traditional plant breeding methods. So what's the big innovation here? Well, it's getting the scientific community within the agricultural realm interested in improving nutritional quality beyond productivity goals. A lot of the nutritionists at the beginning thought it wouldn't work. That's because plants can contain substances that block the absorption and consumption of vital nutrients by our bodies. But Dr. Welch proved biofortification could work by conducting efficacy trials, where regular people ate the enhanced crops and showed improved nutritional health. Indeed, if you eat these crops, your nutritional health is improved. It's a long process breeding nutrient-rich crops that farmers are willing to plant for the many regions of the world in need. So can you talk a little bit about the regional appeal of different beans when it comes to, let's say, color and size, shape? Well, I think in Africa, I've been told that the yellow beans are, are preferred, bring a premium price. So uh, breeding for this trait is desirable. And farmers will want to grow it because they're selling a bean that people want to buy. Mm. The ultimate goal is to provide better nutrition without altering local tastes and diets. If you can take the crops that they're growing already, make them better, then you've put a tool in, in their hands so that they can have control of their own life and their own health. And that's really what makes this sustainable. Are you happy with the results so far? I am, I'm extremely happy from starting with nothing in 1993 to reaching more than 30 million farmers and farm families and projections to a billion people by 2030 it does my heart really good because you see that it works and I'm very excited and very happy about how it's going.